Most players will agree that Valentina is still one of the best mages in the current meta, especially if the opponents have some very OP ults that you can steal. But in certain matchups, she might not perform as well, especially if the opponents have some burst heroes that can take her out right away. In this match, the opponents are going to have a few scary heroes such as Natalia, Kagura and Clint. Those three can remove or kill you in just a few hits if you're really squishy. That's why in this match I will be her a little bit different, and you will see how this will help me tremendously, especially in mid to late game, where those burst heroes get a huge power spike. Rafaela is such a nice addition to her composition. She's an excellent counter against Natalia. Natalia made a smart move and went to gang our marksman right from the start. She probably assumed that she wouldn't be able to do much against our jungler, since Rafaela would most likely help our jungler as he start. Balmon probably wanted to clear the top small minion camp to regain his HP, but good thing that our jungler noticed it and punished him for that. If the opponents don't have many burst heroes, then it's better to go for a more offensive build. But if they have lots of heroes that can pretty much one-shot you, then I would definitely recommend building 2 or 3 defensive items. Valentina is more a utility than burst mage, so play her at her strength. Since he took the cyclo thingy, I'm going to wait until he dashes before ulting. He could change direction at the last moment. After using the opponent's ult, make sure to go back to her original form, because only after you go back, her old cooldowns countdown will start. There are some exceptions that you don't want to go back right away after ulting, because you want to take advantage of their passive or their extra skills such as Argus, Yuson, Aemon, etc. They have a lot of firepower, which is why I decided to go for Vengeance in this match, but probably Aegis, Flameshot or Flicker will have been good options as well. I don't even know why I copy Kagura's ult, it's such a useless skill to copy.
it's very obvious that Herbalmo and Atalia are going top. I'm going to ping my marksman to retreat, and hopefully she listens to the warning. Try not to recall in such an obvious place, in high rank games is very punishable. That's why you don't want to be shopping in a dangerous spot. This is a previous example of how much they will hurt as the game goes on. I'm gonna build brute force first to have even more cooldown reduction. I have to execute this play extremely fast and not give him enough time to react. Melissa is probably the best marksman against Natalia. Melissa ults just makes Natalia completely useless. I'm worried about Natalia now. Persians in brute force so early helped me tremendously here. Since we got a magic jungler, Building Genius and Glowing Wand will allow him to kill a lot faster. Quack. 
I tried to copy Argus ult but failed. Usually you want to use the first skill after every dash to take advantage of a dash cooldown reduction effect. At this stage of the game, the only ult I want to copy from them is Argos ult. Natalia will probably look for Bush to activate her invisibility, so I will try to look for her before she has a chance to do so. There she is. Natalia is such a hit or miss hero, she either does extremely well or is just utterly useless. This is what happens when you go back to your original form before Argos ult second phase activates. You won't regain the HP you'll usually get from the damage you inflicted. I will just go straight to Argos to copy his ult. Teammates go a little bit too impatient there. If we make one or two more of these mistakes, they can definitely make a comeback.
We probably could end here, but another kill wouldn't be too bad, right? Against Argus, I'm just going to keep my distance and keep poking him until he's forced to use his ult. Searching for Natalia. There she is. If you like playing Valentina, but sometimes you feel like she dies too fast, then try building her a few defensive items. She will still deal a good amount of damage while being a bit sturdier and contributing a lot more to the team fight. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See ya.